Hello, welcome to Steve McDonald's Arts and Crafts. And today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can highlight the little tiny details that you can see, barely see in these moulds and that barely come out when you pour the resin on them. But I'm going to show you an easy way of getting that to really highlight without it being fiddly or messy. Thanks to Vivian for sending me these moulds. Vivian's one of my channel members. I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Wonderful gift. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and experiments and things. And ring my notification bell so you get notifications when a new video comes out. So I've got my resin mixed up now and I'm using a polyurethane resin by Resin Colour. Now that isn't available in America but I'll link one very similar. And I'm really loving polyurethane resin for projects like this. I'd just like to say a quick thank you to all my members whose names are coming up now. And if you'd like to become a member, then check out the link in the description below. There are quite a lot of perks and there's quite a few members as well. So I'm using a concentrated pigment powder. And you can use this for epoxy resin or polyurethane resin. It really does give you a truer colour. And when it's cured, you will really see the colour that it's given you. But you do need to ensure that you mix it in well. Because if not, you can be left with little bits. Now I'm a bit of a nuisance for not mixing it in fully but there we go i quite like that metal effect the great thing about polyurethane resin is this whole thing will be cured in about an hour uh, so it's really quick but you get a short pot time so what i'm doing now pouring it into the mold i will move it around with the stick to ensure that there's no trap bubbles on the bottom and then what I will do is push it into the little grooves. If you'd like to buy me a coffee, just to say thank you for any of my videos and really help support this channel, then the link for that is in the description and you'll get your name on my coffee board for next month. So I'm finished off pouring this and then what I will do is ensure that one is level as well and there's no trap bubbles, go over it with my long neck lighter and then let it cure for 24 hours. Well these have all cured now and because it was polyurethane resin it only actually took about an hour to cure so I'm just going to demold them and as you can see there you can hardly see the little indents on that. So we need that to come out. And this larger one, again, you can hardly see where the little indents are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint them. But I'm not going to sit here and fiddle with these and go, oh, go and paint them and take forever. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a bit of paint, put on a bit of kitchen roll, kitchen paper. And this one I'm doing gold. And that one I'm doing black. So all I'm going to do is rub that gold onto here. Like that. And that will fill in all those little areas that I want the gold relief to be on. And then what I'm going to do is let get off as much as I possibly can of that once it's on there, off the surface of it. It needs a little bit more in these ends. There. That's really, really pretty. Can you see how pretty that is? So I'm going to let that dry for a minute or two because that's the important part. And then on this one, I want to use a little bit of black. So what I'm going to do is the same thing with the black. And rub it all the way in. the surface stuff off it as much as I can because once you get the surface stuff off you're not going into those areas and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that dry for about five minutes and then I'll come back and show you what to do next. These have been drying for about five minutes now and all I'm going to do is take a baby wipe that's damp and if you haven't got any baby wipes then you can still use kitchen 
paper that is also damp. But make sure they're alcohol free because if you use the ones with alcohol in, it will dull your resin. And all you then need to do is just go over this and that's not going to clean out the paint that's in the little dips, but it is going to clean off the paint that's all on the surface. And there we are. That's all done nicely. Oh, I'm really pleased with how that's come out. And now you can see all those bits that are in there and all the names and everything. And it looks like a really great clock face if you wanted to use it as a clock face. All you'd need to do is drill a hole through the middle or you could use it as a coaster if you've used heat resistant resin. But there's lots of different things to stand a pot on with a flower in it. While I'm doing this, don't forget, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And remember to ring that notification bell as well so you get notifications when my new video comes out. If you'd like to buy me a coffee just to say thank you, it's really appreciated. And every penny that I get goes towards buying stuff for my channels. And also, the membership is there if you want to become a member. And all those links and the links to everything that I've used today are in the description below. There we go, that one's cleaned up nicely. There's a little bit of glare coming off that one. But that's my light. I really like that. That's crystals and some flowers there. And that you could use for lots of different things as well. So I hope you found that useful. It really does save a lot of time of trying to paint in or trying to get mica powder into these little grooves and things when before you cast. Now, if you want to make this nice and solid, as well, you, there's no reason why you cannot go over this with another clear layer of resin once your paint has fully dried in all your grooves. I'd leave it about a couple of hours and then you can go over it with your resin because it won't bleed, it won't do anything and it won't damage anything. Thank you very much indeed. Take care, enjoy your resin. Bye.